Hello friends. Set of synonyms for you today. You have the first one to begin with keen and sharp. Keen, very keen attention we say. No? Sharp, sharp brain we say. So keen here we have got examples like some, you, know, you find some teachers attract the keen attention of the students. They have got that power to attract the keen attention of their students. And children have a sharp memories. Sharp example is children, they have got very sharp memories. Isn't it? Then two, a keeper and custodian. Keeper and custodian. Simple meanings, I think, very clear to you. So that everyone is the keeper of his brother. Everyone is the keeper of his brother. That means you have to put your brother's needs in front of yours. Understand? Yes. And then the next, <laughs> next is, of course, it is uh, uh, the cashier is the custodian of cash in a bank. Very simple. No? Cashier is the custodian. Three, keepsake memento. Keep, keepsake. That is uh, the synonym is memento. You can say that the astronauts, you remember, took lunar soil with them for keepsake. For the sake of keeping her. The chief guest was honored by giving him a memento. The chief guest was honored by giving him a memento. Fourth is kind benevolence. The good Samaritan was very kind to the wounded labor, uh, wounded, wounded uh, traveler. And then to have a benevolent mind, it is the gift of God. Benevolent means good, good mind. Bene means good. That's the Latin word, bene. So then uh, good mind. Understand? And the fifth one is king, monarch, ruler. You have good examples like uh, kings are rulers with uh, absolute powers. Kings are rulers with absolute powers. Some marriages behave like monarchs. So that means people like that uh, with absolute power. A benevolent ruler is a blessing to his people. Benevolent is goodwill. Person with a goodwill is a he is actually a blessing to his people. Isn't it? Six. Ever labor, work and toil. No labor, no bread. <laughs> like no pain, no gain. If you don't work, you are not supposed to take bread or eat. Work is work worship. We should appreciate the toil and sweat of our parents in bringing us up. Remember our parents, you should appreciate their toil and their sweat. So when they are old, when they become aged, it is our duty to look after them. Understand? It is not anything, it is not anything uh, charity or uh, in fact uh, not anything that you are doing something uh, something great. It is a must and it is a duty. Seven and the last one, latent, dormant and hidden. A mentor can identify the latent talents of children. Latent means sleeping or which is inside but not uh, exhibited. That is latent means latent talents, hidden talents. That's the meaning, latent talents. As, uh, many plants remain in a dormant stage during the winter season. They don't, they dormant sleep. Dormant means sleeping stage. So they don't, uh, there's no activity. Winter, uh, winter kept, us, kept us warm. Feeding a little life with dried tubers. These are lines that I am quoting from 
the great poem by T.S. Eliot's uh, The Wasteland. Winter kept us warm, but feeding us with the little life. That is, so that is dormant. And then the last is, thieves are hunting for hidden treasures. Robbers or thieves. Sentences are written here. Thieves are or robbers are hunting for hidden treasures. All these words are very simple, just I am. I have been reminding you and I am so sure that you will make your own sentences and then learn this and make these words part of your vocabulary. Bye.